Welcome back everybody, I'm the Blonde Fox, and today we're going to continue playing some more Genshin Impact. In the last episode, we were doing the um, Sacred Sakura Cleansing Ritual. And so we cleansed the one over there in the forest area, I think it's Chunji Forest, right? Mm -hmm. That's what it's called? Chunju Forest, okay. Yeah, we did the one which was cleansed over here, so we finished that one. And pretty much, yeah, we got two more to do before we can finish the ritual. Well, there's one over here in uh, Arami, and then there's another one that's supposed to be... I'm thinking it was down this way, I think. Or something like that. I don't know. There's supposed to be two more. And there's supposed to be, like, areas we haven't gone yet. It might actually be over here, possibly, even. I can't remember. But anyways, we just have two more to do. So we're going to head up over to Arami. We're going to go kind of around this way. But yeah, that's pretty much the goal today is just to continue on with this quest and try to finish it and everything. Like I said, we also have to get these points at some point as well. But yeah, we also have enough for a 10 pool. So we're going to do a 10 pool at the end of the episode, which I'm very excited for. We are going to go ahead and pull for um, Nahida just because she's a really great character. I got her on my personal account and I'm really enjoying her so far. We won't be able to level her up for a while, like too high unless I join someone else's world. But I don't think I can do that unless I increase my world level, but I'm not sure on that. But anyways, that's like stuff for way later down the line. But, and also because of the fact that the four stars that are available on her banner right now, we could get Bennett sure, and Razor, which would be awesome to get some constellations for him because that would really apple. help him out. But yeah, that's kind of just the plan for today. Just kind of continue on. So yeah, remember to like the video if you like and subscribe if you want to see more. But without further ado, let's get right into it. I really want to grab this, uh, this electrolysis thingy. Uh, let's see, where is it? Is it on top of the building or is it actually going to be like huh. off the side of the cliff or something? I can never remember. Inazuma has a lot, a lot of these Yahoo! things. I can't remember how many he has, but I think it has even more than Liyue, which is saying something, because Liyue had, like, wasn't it, like, 130 of them or something like that? Um, okay, it says it should be, like, right here. Yeah, it's not up above, so my guess is it's either... Is it in here? No, it's not in here. And it's not, like, under there somehow, so my guess is it's underneath the cliff. Am I right? Oh, there's a waterfall. Oop, yep, there it is. Gotcha. And marked. Okay, we'll go ahead and teleport back up. <laughs> uh, let's see. We could technically, while we're over here, take the boat and go do this stuff over here, but it's really not that necessary. There's nothing over there to, like, there's a quest there later, but again, we'll deal with that later. So, yeah, I think we're fine just going this way. Wouldn't gliding be faster? But, yeah, I got, <laughs> I mean, I was guaranteed Nahida on my personal account one because I previously, I had pulled, uh, I got really lucky and I got Sino, and then immediately the wish right after Sino I got Diluc. And so, because I failed the 50-50 technically, I, uh, I was guaranteed my next character, so I saved it up for Naida, so I was got her. But I got lucky because even though I saved up like I had like 60 or 70 wishes saved up to try to pull for her, I got her after only like 35 or 40 wishes, something like that. I got really lucky. So I am trying to pull for another one of her because she actually has pretty good constellations. She's a really good support character too. I'm really enjoying her. And her but she her, uh she has the ability to where she can actually grab items, up to five items from like distances as long as it's plants or things that don't move kind of thing which i think is a pretty cool little concept that they did for her okay where is this it says it's like right here is it up in this tree where is it no it's not in this tree it's probably down here huh oop i just totally fell off the edge there i guess we're going for it then um ah there it is but yeah, so I'm really enjoying her. I kind of like what they did with her and everything. And she's a pretty fun character. She moves really quick. She doesn't hit very hard, but I haven't got mine built up that high yet. But again, she's more so for support anyway, so I forgot to mark that. Aha, I bet you guys were yelling at me like, you forgot to mark it. Uh, let's see. But she's more of a support character, so, you know, expecting her to do high amounts of damage is kind of ridiculous anyways. Even though she does actually have, I was looking online for builds for her, she has a build for a main DPS build, and I was looking at it, I was just like, you know what, I can see her potential as a main DPS, which is kind of cool, considering she's like, she's, most of her moveset screams, hey, I'm support, but the fact that you can build her to be a main DPS is just awesome. And I might actually have to try out that build just for some fun, you know? 
Let's get down to business. But yeah, I'm hoping to get her on this account just because one, it would be I want all the gods for one. Well, all the archons, considering I have Zhongli and Venti, I wouldn't mind owning all of them. Because then all I would need is to get the Raiden Shogun, which I think. I heard the Raiden was supposed to get a rerun soon, but now I'm hearing that actually the next character we're getting is possibly a uh, Scaramouche. So I don't know what's going on. Ooh, I do not want to fight those things. Um, I just saw a thing saying there was another... Ah, right there. But, so that would be cool. But it would also be nice to have her for whenever we get to Sumeru eventually and everything, too. And Dendro's like, I'm really liking the Dendro element. It's great for comboing. And it's really strong, and I like the interactions with it, because it kind of adds a little more thinking to the game, I guess, in a sense. Like... Because of the fact that you have to do things in a specific order. I mean, you already kind of do have to do things in a specific order, but right now it's just like, oh, you just hit random elements together and it makes extra damage or freezes enemies or whatever. But Dendro really adds, like, a whole new layer of stuff, and I really did not mean to activate the guy. I didn't even see that guy there. By Royal Why are you hitting me from way over there, you jerk? Okay, now no I'm mad. Rest for the wicked. I really hate these stupid things. Come on, I almost got him. There. I don't even know, do I have any characters that use the stuff that they drop? I'm not entirely sure on that. Okay, so I activated that. Uh, let's see, here's one. That's two, I just need two more. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think I have any characters that use these either. But, and then also I really want to pull, because like I said, um, Razor and Bennett, I, Noelle's also on the banner, but I don't really like Noelle. I like her character, but I don't like how she plays. Um, but Razor and Bennett are on the banner, and even though we aren't really using Bennett right now, he has really good constellations. And then Razor, his constellations make him really good, especially because I have mine c 6 and oh my gosh, his sixth constellation just like, I really like it. it. It drops lightning bolts every, I think every 30 seconds you're able to drop a lightning bolt on your next hit or something like that. And it does a percentage of your attack and everything and it hits really hard. So I really like that move. So we definitely want to get uh, Razor C6 as soon as possible. I still need to go artifact farming too because our artifacts still really suck. And that's really going to hinder us whenever I increase world level next. Because right now the enemies are almost a little too easy, and we're not getting good enough drops to kind of keep up with what we're, you know, getting. So I'm probably going to have to increase the world level soon to increase our drops and whatnot. But at the same time, we haven't been doing so hot on our uh, artifacts, so I might just do that off cam, just do like a day of artifact farming or something. It's just it can be really tedious whenever you go, you get like, um, whatchamacallit, whenever you get like three or four artifacts in a row that are just absolute crap, it just kind of ruins the whole experience, you know? Kind of makes you not want to grind anymore whenever, no matter what you do, you just keep getting crappy artifacts. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, so I was able to activate two of those things, but where's the other two of oh, the little electro statue thingies? Oh, there's one, but I gotta do the puzzle for it. So I think I have to get these all facing the same way, right? Yeah. Right? Oh. Oh dear. How the heck did I screw this up that bad? What if I... Oh no, I really screwed this up. Dang it, if I would have just... It would have worked out perfectly fine. I am so mad at myself, I screwed this up. Can I just turn the middle one? Nope, turning the middle one turns the one on the right. Erg, I screwed this puzzle up completely on accident. Can't even turn the bottom ones. 
Wait, just hitting it turns them? Wait, I don't have to shoot him with electricity. Stop it, Fischl. What? I am so confused what's going on. <laughs> They're all darting on their own. I don't know what's going on. I hate these stupid puzzles sometimes because whenever you- if you mess them up, you're totally screwed. No, I needed Berg. Oh wait, I did it. Ha, huh, yes. I got so lucky there. <laughs> Cry out my illustrious name. Okay, seriously, I There we go. I was like I was trying to activate that. Okay, so there's that one. So there's just one more. I like all the cherry blossoms falling. It's so pretty here. Uh let's see. Ooh, I do not want to deal with you, whoever you are. Oh, there you are. Okay, wait for these two things to activate so I can this drop a rock. Gather. Where did these two come from? There was only two here, but now there's three? Die already. Like I said, I do not like these things. There we go. Oh, those are activated, so now we can turn on this thing over here. I don't know if this has anything to do with what we're supposed to be doing, but... Let's see. I need to remember to scan the fox statues, too. But, um, yeah, see, there's a bunch of fox statues in here, so I was supposed to do that. Okay, I was like, I don't think that was a complete waste. Scan one. Scan number twosies. And hello, thank you. Scan number three. Okay, so there's now three buttons. Press the button. Press the button. Press the button. What did that do? Did that do anything? Press the three buttons. Okay, I didn't turn off the door up there. Okay, why did nothing happen? Oh, nope, something did happen. It just took a while. There we go. Whoa, and there it is. But don't I need to find the... Okay, so now there's even more puzzle because I have to find the... The, the, the ward to put in the shrine. Okay, so what do you give me? Uh, did I think it was like this, right? Yeah, that wasn't there before, I don't think. Okay, so I can walk in here. Found it. There's a fox statue with a ward right here. Okay, we gotta use Electro to retrieve it. There we go. There's the ward. Okay, let's do a little exploring before we cleanse this place. What do we got down here? Yes, Paimon, that's why we came down here. We already got the ward. Paimon, you're really not helping. Ooh, okay, we got a puzzle. Uh, here, let's do this. Nope, that one doesn't turn. Okay, that one is able to turn. Wait, if the center one can't turn, though, it means we need them all facing that way, which sucks, because now this is the only one not facing the right way. This one turns, like, all of those. What do you turn? You turn those two. What do you turn? Those two. Huh. Uh, what if I did you? Then I did you. There we go. Aha! See, I'm pretty good at those generally. It's just that one up above, I screwed it up. And it just like totally screwed me These from there. Things useful? Ooh, there's water down there. Okay. 
Nee. Looks like there's stuff. Okay, so I need to drain the water, it looks like. Is there, like, some way to drain the water at the end over here, maybe? I hope so, because I'm going to run out of stamina before I get to the end. So far, nothing. Lots of secrets, though, it looks like. Come on, Razor, step on the steps. There you go, you're good. This opens the door. Ooh, does it strain the water? Wait, what'd that say? I ran over something. Oh, I got an old stone slate. Don't know what that's for. I did not mean to hit that many at once. See, I do stupid stuff like that all the time. Oh, good, they all turn anyways. What do you do? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of weird which one's turn for what, you know? Okay, the one I actually wanted to turn decided it didn't want to turn. Oh, come on. I am one off. Erg. Okay, I just need to turn the outside ones. Will this one do it? Nope. Darn. Yeah. There we go. Getting lots of chess, which is awesome, but... The more valuable for it. Oh, that did drain the water. Cool. Okay. See, this is why you should always explore. Okay, this is just out the way we already opened up that door thingy. Ooh. What's this? I'm finding all sorts of secrets. Where are we now? Nope, I do not. We'll explore that later. <laughs> I also don't want to get too far away from where we're doing the shrine thing till we cleanse it. That was a weird noise. Okay, just a simple chest. What is that noise? Do you hear that? Okay, we need one of those to get in there, and there's a lot of cool stuff in there, so where's one of the trees? There's one of the trees. Ooh, a treasure chest. Treasure? I, I can't talk. Stone uh, let's is another that. Man's so grab that. We should be able to run in here unless it's too high of a level. Yeah, it's too high of a level. Darn, we need to level up our Sakura tree more. Okay, so we'll need to do that, which the easiest way to do that is to open chests, because you get the, um, Ooh, I can open that. Can I... Stabilize. No, you can't open it with that. Um, can with windmill. There we go. Okay, what was the point of that? Maybe it just makes it easier to climb out of here, maybe? I don't know. Let's play. But anyways, um, easiest way to get the electro sigils to level up the tree is from opening chests or from um, leveling up your statue because you get, like, whenever you level up your statue, I think you get, like, 20 or... Like 15, 20 of them at a time or something like that, whenever you level up the statue. And so that's another good way of getting them. Or like I said too, a lot of them, you can find like one to three in different types of chests and whatnot, which is also... Hmm, which is also very good. No, I haven't, must be out fighting. Oh, okay, it's going way too fast for me to raid. Um, but yeah, that's another useful way. And by doing that, you would be able to level up the Sakura tree. So it's not like too difficult. It's just can sometimes you kind of got to go out of your way a bit to farm it out. It's not something you could just do in like one sitting, I don't think. Okay, so that gives us that. So that makes me wonder, is there, there is more of those. Okay, so you're going to give me another one of the lantern thingies. That would have been annoying to start the puzzle and be like, there's not enough stuff to do the puzzle. Okay, is there any more? Or is it just those two? Um, it looks like it was just those two, I'm thinking. What was this? I 
Matic page. Oh, it looks like we also have some sealies we need to guide back to get that door open. Well, we found one of them. I don't- I didn't follow it all the way, though, I don't think. Where did it stop at? Oh, I stopped it right there. Come on, Seely. You're so close. Brace yourself. Uh, where'd you go? Okay, seriously, where'd the Seely go? It was like, oh. That was weird, it like disappeared for a second. Where are you going? Why are you running? <laughs> Come on. You can climb all around this room. Like some kind of monkey or something. Come on. The Sealy is very annoying. Okay, so there's one. I wonder where Have the other one is. The ballad of the treasure chest? Maybe it's after we do this we can find it, maybe. Okay. So let's start purifying. Whoa, okay, this one looks interesting. So we go from here. So we need to go... Number two would be the one over there and over there at the same time. <laughs> so that one's already set to number two. And this one needs to be set to number two, but I think it's set to number three. There we go. So it goes ding ding. So it goes from there to both of those at the same time. And then number th both of these over here need to be number three. So you're a number three. And you need to be a number three. Is that how it goes? It's really that simple? It is really that simple. Time for takeoff. Order guide you. Boom. <laughs> Solidify. Boom My goes the dynamite, decree. right? I got a shield and you can't hurt me. But I can really hurt you. Done. That's two trees cleansed. Okay, so now we gotta figure out that where's this other Sealy at? What was that? Oh, at first I thought it had something I could pick up and I was like, wait, what can I pick up? Is it maybe in here? No, because I scanned the fox already. And there's not another fox in here that's scannable, I don't think. So we can't scan the big ones. Um, and that little guy isn't glowing. Cause it's only the glowing ones that are scannable. Oh, there's a treasure chest right here. How did I not notice that? Empty chest. Good for storage. Okay, so there is one more Sealy somewhere in here. It's waiting to be released. Hum, 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 hum. Is it, like, up here? Is there any, like, breakable walls? Is there any little statues I missed? Yeah, you gotta think of every single little possibility, right? It isn't, like, nearby, right? It doesn't look like there's anything in here. Um, bum, 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 bum. Her. I am not seeing a Sealy anywhere nearby. Okay, we'll go back and check over here again, but there doesn't look like there's any around the shrine. I need to make sure I look up, too, because I have a bad habit of just looking straight, like, in front of me. Okay, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, here's something I can scan. Didn't I already scan this one, though? I thought I already scanned this guy, because didn't he have the thing that popped up on his head or something? Oh, it just restarts the dialogue thing. Okay, that's all it is. Oh, there you are. See, like I said, you always gotta look up. Empty chest. Good for storage. Okay, Seely, where are we going? Okay, seriously, we're gonna make video this. At least you're gonna take a short way. I was like, please don't make me go all the way around. Oh, really? Come on, Venti. Okay, nice and easy, follow me. See, here's where Kazuha would be amazing, because I could have just did a little air jump there to stay in the air longer. You gonna touch all the poles? Yes, you are. What is with you guys in touching your poles? That sounded really weird. Um, <laughs> there we go. Ah, have you heard the ballad of the treasure chest? Okay, so that just brings us out to here again. Which, if there was a bunch of water here, or did the water only go to down there? Maybe I don't know. 
Okay, but we've got another cave we can explore now. But we'll explore that cave in the next episode. Okay, but like I promised, we're gonna do our ten pool first before we end. Okay. So we're going for Nahida. And yeah, that's pretty much it. We also want razors. We could do with a Bennett. Bennett would be useful because like I said, his constellations are good. We just haven't used him for a while because we've been using other characters. But I really want more razors. So here goes nothing. And... Oh, at first I thought that was turning gold. My heart dropped. And I was like, what? <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Nothing. Nothing. We're getting lots of Stardust, though, which is good because it's a new month, so we can buy some more wishes. Okay, so far, so nothing. Come on, better be something good. Okay, Lefifonia's Warbow. It's not bad. We do need weapons, but I was kind of hoping for a character. You know, some constellations here. And I think that's all we're going to get, isn't it? Yeah, I'm thinking that's all we're going to get. Well, that wasn't horrible, per se. It just wasn't, like, fantastic. Uh, let's see. I might go ahead and do another 10 pool, because I think we might have enough. So, do we? Yes, we do. So here we go, guys. One more 10 pool. Fingers crossed. Get wishing. Close your eyes. And here we go. Okay, it's just a purple, but the A, still good. Okay, let's see what we get. Nothing. 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 Okay, so far, wow, really not doing so hot so far, guys. <gasps> yes! Oh, that is exactly what we were wanting, so that's awesome. Okay, so that, is that gonna be it? Is Razor gonna be our only four star in this? Yeah, it's looking like Razor's gonna be our only four star. Darn. Oh well, we wanted him, so that doesn't matter. Got some more of that stuff. Let's go ahead and buy some more of it. You know, don't wanna not get our monthly stuff. And you know what, let's just do some single pools to end it out. Cause let's see, how are we doing? We just pulled 20. Okay, so that's five. Oh, I didn't realize we got a Candace. I forgot about that. Okay, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, we just did- Wow, we're at like 62 wishes. Yeah, we are actually really close to a 5 star. We're getting- Whenever you're usually at about 60 or higher, you usually- It seems like you have a higher chance just in general. I think that there is like a soft pity either at 70 or 75 wishes and then again at 80, I think. But, okay, yeah, so we'll just do some singles and see what happens. Okay, here we go. Okay, nothing, so I'm skipping. And another single. And we got... Nothing. Okay, I think we have enough for one more single pool. So here we go. Ready, guys, and pull. Okay, I think we're at 65 wishes now. And we're just shy on being able to afford one more, it looks like. Yeah, because even if I do that, I don't have Genesis Crystals. I don't have enough to buy. Uh, I need 75 to buy one. I could technically... You know what? We'll do this. We are so close. I didn't realize we were... I thought we were only at like 20, 25 in. So I was like, oh, what's the point? You know, it's really... But we're going to do this. I know I should save those up to buy these guys and everything, you know, because then we can get guaranteed constellations on characters, but I'm not too worried about it. Okay, guys, we got two more. This is going to be a bit of a longer one, but like I said, I wanted to... I'm impatient with my pools. I know I could have saved them for end of, end of each episode, but I feel like we haven't been pulling that much lately. So, okay, ready? Here we go. One. Okay, nothing. Come on, next pool, at least a four star. At least a four star. Come on. Fingers crossed. Last wish, guys. Last wish of the episode. Here we go. Okay, purple. Awesome. Oh. Um, I mean, okay, Sacrificial Greatsword is actually a really good sword. So that's not horrible. I think that's actually the one we were wanting for Chung Yun. Is that the one we had on him? Because that's actually the one I think you're supposed to run on him. I think. So that'd be cool if it was. 
So, okay. Oh, and we're <laughs> we're five star glitter or stardust or whatever it is short, but we're only like 14 away. So we could probably do another single pull at the end of the uh, next episode. So, oh well. I mean, we got some pretty good stuff. Let's check out our stuff real quick. I don't need to be disappointed because we actually did pretty good. That's our first constellation on Razor. That is awesome. Picking up an elemental orb or particle increases his damage by 10% for 8 seconds. That's awesome. I didn't realize that was one of his constellations. Okay, sweet. So we got that one. Yeah, his constellations, see, like this one, increases crit rate whenever an opponent's HP is low. That is awesome for Razor. Um, when doing his Claw and Thunder, opponents will have their defense decrease. That's useful. And the one that I really like is his sixth constellation, which is every 10 seconds his sword charges up, where he can release a lightning attack that does 100% of his attack as electro damage, which is awesome. So useful. Just, just getting that like extra, because it's basically like two hits at once, because it's your regular sword hit plus a lightning bolt that damages him. So good. So we got that. Um, we got... Yeah, see, I've been having him use the Favonius Greatsword. I'm pretty sure it's the Sacrificial Greatsword that's supposed to be really good for him, but I can't, uh, for Chongyun, but I can't remember. But that's pretty good, because do we have any other, uh, Greatsword characters? We have Noelle, but I don't plan on really ever using her. Ooh, actually. I mean, Sayu's supposed to be built with, uh, attack percentage in mind. But we could possibly give her that. Sure. I forgot we had Sayu. We got something to do, but basically we got some good stuff. So that wasn't like horrible. So yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. If you liked the video, remember to like it. Comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. I look forward to hearing from you guys. Remember to subscribe if you want to see more from me in the future. Until next time, see ya!